you seen this app? There's a couple like it. One's called Face App. This one's called Face Story, right? Where you can plug in your photo and see how you age, what you can look like when you're old. Or maybe, uh, maybe even do you look like a celebrity? My daughter was playing with this app recently and she just thought it was hilarious. And it reminded me of a magazine article that I read in my wife's fashion magazine called In Style. And it was called Forever Young. And in it, they were sort of posing the question, is this the moment when we all stop getting old? And in it, they're actually quoting a famous scientist and also uh, sort of talking about a book that he wrote, which I've also read. An Australian scientist named David Sinclair. And he wrote this book called Life Span, Why We Age and Why We Don't Have To. So David Sinclair is actually an Australian scientist, but he's currently a professor of genetics at Harvard University. Um, pretty interesting stuff that he's writing here. Basically, he's talking about uh, how we age and that we may not have to age. And he connects it with gene expression and genetics and epigenetics and some amazing things that he's discovered. I find it really interesting. Bottom line is, you know, if you're thinking about how you look, then what kind of products do you use? You probably use personal care products, right? When you think about um, wellness, what kind of uh, activities and products do you think about? You probably think more about supplements, right? So you've got this concept of inside, but also outside. And when you read this magazine, it's actually a very insightful article talking about, well, where are we going? Is it an inside approach or an outside approach? And while it's recognized that there are some fantastic personal care products for your skin, that we really can't accomplish uh, our best selves and slow the aging process and really look good in the future unless we have an inside and outside approach. And, uh, you know, just a couple of interesting quotes from David Sinclair. 30 years ago, we didn't understand what causes aging and how the body controls the pace of aging or how to measure it. Now we know all three and that's happened only in the last five years. Pretty interesting, right? He also says the reason fasting and exercise are good for us is not because you get thin and pump blood around your body, which is what you think of when you exercise, right? But it's because you're turning on these longevity genes that provide protection. I find that very interesting. He says if you develop molecules that mimic that, you can take a fat animal and make it as healthy as a thin one just by tricking it into thinking it's been exercising. Well, I don't know about all that just yet, but it does raise an interesting prospect, right? That exercise and eating right aren't just about pumping blood around your body and getting thin. What he's saying is that actually you're reprogramming the gene expression, which essentially means you're reprogramming your metabolism, right? Into a healthier state. And that somehow affects aging. I think we need to watch this space very closely. The idea that if we want to be our best aging self, that we need to look at what we do physically, so basically a wellness approach, and also these amazing products that have been developed for your skin.